Hi there, my name is Jonathan Oakey and this is the first video in my entry for the Great Guitar Build Off 2020. So I just thought I'd introduce myself very quickly. I'm very much an amateur luthier. I learned how to build guitars by following some courses at Crimson Guitars and also another course at Ambler Guitars. And I thought that before I get into this build, I'll show you some of the guitars that I've built in the past. So this is one that I built on a Crimson Guitars course. It's basically one of their Path Semi Hollow guitars and it plays very nicely and I was very happy about it. I've got some videos about this guitar on my YouTube channel as well. So then um, this is a fretless bass that I built with a very particular top. I call it Sunrise for obvious reasons and the back is similar as well. Um, if you look very carefully there's a little Westy on the top here which is a theme because um, I had two Westies. Then staying um, with the, the bass theme, here's another one that I finished um, quite recently. This is a, a four string bass with a coca bolo top and a rather unusual pattern on the neck. I'll bring it up to show you a little bit, which was a lot of work but looks very nice. Then another course, another guitar that I built on a course is this one which I built last year when I went to Ambler Guitars. It has a black limber body and a zero cote top. Very nice guitar, um, very good course as well, thoroughly recommended if you're looking for an alternative to the ubiquitous Crimson Guitars courses. Um, another one that I built a little while ago is a 12 string with a hollow body. It has um, a zebrano top and also a zebrano back but different cuts of wood so they look um, quite different. And I was practicing my inlays so this was my version of a sort of tree of life inlay with um, various different inlays all of which have a little bit of a, of a meaning. So this, this one was, um, was fun to build. <laughs> Lastly, two more, no, three more guitars that I finished this year. So this is actually a five string bass, a five string V bass. Again, a little bit of a different, uh, slightly crazy build. It's a, a through neck, um, made with a number of different woods. Generally pretty happy with, with this. The headstock was a bit too small, so it's a bit of a squeeze for the five strings, but it worked out pretty well in the end, after a lot of work. Then I had a, an experiment with resin, and with a, a U body, and I built this one, which I finished a few months ago. Um, my first attempt with resin, I built a, a resin river table, before this, which helped me to, to know how to, to finish it. And this came out very nicely. Lastly, the most recent guitar that I finished was based around a chess theme, and it's essentially a, a Les Paul Junior style body, but with a chessboard top and inlays. So I'm pretty happy with the way that, that turned out as well. Okay, there we go. That's it for my introduction. I have built some other guitars. Some of them are elsewhere. Um, some of them have been sent to other people. So I built a, a few for friends. And I'm looking forward to getting stuck into my guitar for the great guitar build off. I've got a bit of a crazy idea for this guitar. So let's see if I can uh, pull it off. So I have the germ of an idea for a guitar for this build off and I'm going to have to work out some of the, the other details later on but my initial idea is to make a patchwork body. I've got obviously like everybody a load of offcuts from different guitar builds in the past and I thought it would be fun to make a patchwork body out of offcuts 
So the idea is that I'm going to cut these up and try and piece them together into a bit that I can make a, a body out of. So I'm thinking about the top for this build and this is most of my guitar wood store and down here are my bodies and uh, tops. So I do have a few things. I've got some bits of maple, um, I've got a poplar bell but I think that's going to go on a, another new guitar that I'm planning. Uh, more maple, there's um, this is quite nice, this is a bit of um, natural ebony that I could use. I've got a, a wing, uh, no this is a rosewood top, and then I've got a wenge top. There's a veneer, a Zirakote veneer that I've never used, because I could also take some things like um, some strips of, of wood and glue them together of various different sorts. That's also a possibility. So I've been thinking about the first pieces of my puzzle and I have this piece of paduk um, and this the shape that it has at the moment makes me think that it would be nice to have this uh, a wedge shape um, at the back of the guitar at the base and then the, the rest of the guitar around that. The problem I have with this piece is that it's too thin, it's 24mm thick, so I need something else to go um, on top of it to, to bring it up to thickness, because I reckon that I'm going to need to get the, the body to about 35-36mm um, in order to put a, a 6 to 8mm cap on top of it. So I think what I'm going to do is, I, I looked around, I've got this neck here, which I built for another guitar and which didn't work, it failed. But I might be able to chop this up and um, glue it on top of here in order to, to give the extra thickness and give a little bit of interest with these bits of the, the ebony um, stripes that I put in there around the edge of the guitar. So let's have a little look at that. So that potentially gives us three pieces like that. So this is a bit of a mess, but don't forget that the only visible part of this wood will be the edge here in the middle of the base of the body and this will be reduced in thickness. I need to do something about this hole here, but um, we'll worry about that later. I have some pieces that I'd like to use with different colors, but they're not necessarily all big enough or thick enough to use as a body. So, here I've glued a bit of purple heart onto a bit of maple, and I'll use that somehow. And now I have a piece of babinga which is left over from a, a fretboard, and I'm just going to glue this onto a piece of sapili, and that will go in the middle somewhere so that the sapili will be hidden and I'll just see the, the babinga. I've also started to develop the concept of the body a bit further and I've drawn out very roughly the shape of a body and also I've started to mark in the, the pieces for the patchwork body itself and um, some of them I've started to cut out um, a little bit as well, so things like that. And then um, I've also come up with an idea for the top. So the body is going to be a patchwork like that and then the top, I've got some pieces here that I've already started preparing, is going to be um, sort of a parquet effect. So I'm, I'm using various different pieces of wood, again um, mainly off cuts or, or waste pieces of wood, 
Um, but <coughs> there's some ebony here which I bought as um, fretboard seconds, for example. And so I'm going to cut these all to the same width and then cut them to size and fit them together. While I'm doing this, um, maybe just a quick word about these different clamps because I've tried a few of the um, this type of uh, quick grip clamps and uh, the these ones that I bought I think locally are pretty rubbish and break fairly easily. The Triton ones are okay but they aren't particularly strong and I've um, managed to break one by, by squeezing it too hard. Um, I've got these Irwin um, medium duty quick grip clamps recently and they seem to be a lot better so they're more expensive but um, they're a lot more robust. I have taken all of these pieces and cut into strips of about uh, 22-23 millimeters, and I've used the drum sander, as you've seen, to sand them all down to a consistent width of 20 millimeters. And um, these are going to be used to create the top. You can see here um, I've cut out all of these pieces. I've made them all. Um, 20 millimeters wide in, in this direction and I've put them together in a sort of parquet style um, mock-up just to see how to, to glue them together. So here are most of the pieces that I hope to use and uh, as, you, as you've seen I've got quite a lot of pieces now which consist of um, a smaller piece of wood like um, an off cap from a fretboard which has been glued onto, or a top, which has been glued onto a backing piece. And those all have to go in the centre because I don't want to have these um, bits revealed on the side of the guitar. Um, then I've got some other pieces like this piece of Wenge, um, some of Van Kong. I've got um, this bit of Purple Heart, um, Ash, and various various bits here. Now when I went to Crimson Guitars for a course some time ago I was told that as a rule of thumb you shouldn't use more than three different woods for the construction of a guitar otherwise it looks messy. I was counting up last night I think I'm up to at least a dozen. So there we go. In order to make it a little bit easier for gluing I'm going to cut off the ends of some of these so that I've got flat edges that I can then clamp together. For the second section, which I've decided is going to be these, um, I have cut a couple of scrap pieces of wood just a bit smaller than this entire section and I'm going to use those as cauls to sandwich it together. So I've just unclamped the first two glue jobs for the, the body and uh, of the two this one is tolerably okay, this one is not. I'm not entirely sure why, but there's a distinct gap between the two pieces. So I'm going to have to saw them apart, I think, because it's too much, I, th I think, to fill, and try again. And then adding the masking tape just helps to prevent these from sticking too much to the piece. Um, the first one that I did, I didn't use masking tape, and that came out like this. And the second one, I did use masking tape, and it came out like this. So you can see the difference there. So, 17 clamps later, here it is, all clamped up, and uh, hopefully that's going to stay pretty solid, and um, in the morning that'll be glued up.
the masking tape worked perfectly to protect the um, cores that I had used. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's certainly flat enough, and um, with a bit of sanding just to flatten off that off, that's going to be great, I think. Um, I just need to glue on about three more pieces here and here to finish off the shape. So I've just done clamped the, the last piece that was glued onto the top, and um, here is the, the top. It needs to be cleaned up and then obviously cut into shape, but I'm pretty happy with that as it is. And on that we will end the first video. So next time we're going to start making the neck and continue with the body. So I hope you enjoyed that and see you soon. Bye bye.